LF Android 17 was released on January 17th, almost a month ago, which means it's time for a new Legends Limited unit. Just like every month, we have a couple of hints that can point to a couple of different options. So on this one, we're going to be speculating what the next LF is going to be. So let's go. So it's important to note that the past couple of months, I guess a couple of weeks at this point, they've been really heavily buffing Universe Rep, right? Like they've only been focusing on buffing Universe Rep um, with, you know, LF Android 17, um, the Kefla Zenkai, the introduction of the Universe Rep tag. Um, we had some Platinum Equips here and there. So they've been very heavily buffing this team. And it might be the case that they're going to continue buffing this team for this month as well. Now, what we have going for us right now is we have this Twitter hint right here. Um, which is, you know, the, the green yarn or whatever. Last month, we got the Twitter hint. It was for the Android 18 and the EX Android 18. And usually they do these hints for EX characters, right? And we've already concluded that this is but this is most likely going to be um, an EX Master Roshi, or maybe not an EX Master Roshi, but a Mafuba Roshi, either at a, as a 1% Sparky unit or as an EX. Now, in recent times, they've been only hinting at EX units. So I'm leaning more towards an EX unit, but if it's in fact a Mafuba Roshi, I'd rather see that as a Spark unit. That is not a unit that people want to see as an EX unit. Like, not gonna lie, EX or Mafuba Roshi is actually a unit that was kind of anticipated. You know, many people wanted to see him. They just wanted more representation of Roshi in the game. And if they were to make that an EX unit, that would be pretty damn disappointing. So I'd, I would really like to see this as a 1% Spark unit. Now, it could potentially be the Mafuba Roshi for, from other uh, mediums, right? Like, it could be from Dragon Ball. I don't think they use it in Dragon Ball Z. So, it's either Dragon Ball or, you know, Tournament Power Roshi. Or this can even be, like, like uh, Goku using the Mufuba or Trunks using the Mufuba back in the future arc. It could very well be those, but I highly doubt it. It's very... Um, likely that it's going to be the Tournament of Power one. It just fits more with all the recent boss for Universe Rep and stuff like that, right? So if we were to go um, with EX or not EX or Mafuba Roshi as the 1% Spark King or the EX unit, then it's fair to assume that the next LF is going to be in fact a Universe Rep unit or Tournament of Power unit, right? Now for the first one, or I guess the Android 17, the EX Android 18 is very closely related to Android 17, right? They were both, you know, Android 18, Android 17, right? So if we were to take back and look at, you know, what Roshi can be related to, there isn't really that many options. Like what could possibly be an option that can fit with Roshi, right? Like a, maybe a Piccolo or a Piccolo Gohan tag unit, or it has to somewhat be a Universe 7 unit, right? Because or else why would they... I mean, it doesn't really necessarily have to be a Universe 7 unit. For example, um, last year around this time, we got LF Jiren and the 1% Spark unit was Hakai Beerus. So they're not related at all. So this could very well be a different unit. Now, the major front runners for this LF is mainly going to be Super Saiyan, Kef Super Saiyan 2 Kefla or any form of Kefla. I think Kefla is a very highly anticipated LF unit. Um, and it also kind of lines up with what's this week. Um, this week is going to be Valentine's Day, of course. And it kind of lines up to, for it to be a female warrior slash girls unit. Um, so, you know, Kefla could be a very, very strong option. At, at this point, I do think it's the most likely scenario, especially since we did get the green Kefla Zenkai. We got the free-to-play Kefla as well. Um, it's just everything Kefla related. Just so for them to drop an LF Kefla, it would be completely perfect. It would kind of, you know, fit the trifecta, right? A free-to-play Zenkai and then an LF unit. So that would be really cool. Um, and that would... Me personally, I I would love to, like, don't get me wrong, I would love to see a, a, an LF Kefla, um, but I'm still trying to save some CC here, so maybe if it was someone else, it would be a bit better. Another Dark Horse, I, I guess it's not even really a Dark Horse option. It could be an underrated option, but a lot of people have been wanting a LF Rubrian, and by a lot of people, I don't I feel like most people that want an LF Rebrian are just memeing. The only person that I've seen that might be actually serious about wanting a, a Rebrian would be Virgil. But I don't know if he's being serious or he's, if he's just memeing or not. But I don't know. If it's LF Rebrian, I would be perfectly fine with it. But at the same time, please don't let this be the LF. That would be so weird. 
Um, especially as a <laughs> Valentine's unit, you're gonna give LF Free Brienne? Nah, what the hell? But I mean, if it's LF Free Brienne, like that's a perfect opportunity for everyone to skip the banner, right? But you know what they're gonna do? Everyone, 90% of the, the player base does not like Ray Brienne. And what they do when that's the case? Well, they made the unit extremely busted. You might know if you played back when they first originally dropped this Ray Brienne. It was the first Ray Brienne, and guess what? She was a top three unit, arguably one of the best units in the game. I mean, top three unit is already a best unit in the game. So that's how crazy they made her just because no one liked her. And so that's a very possible uh, possibility for them to make her busted beyond belief because they know that no one's going to summon for her. So, you know, to incentivize people to summon for her, they're going to make her broken, which is uh, very possible, right? Now, it's important to note that we're also going to be entering a... Let me see if I can pull this up. We're also going to be entering the 70 million user campaign celebration. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the last celebration, the 60 million celebration, I honestly don't even remember when it when it was. Was it back when Super Saiyan Blue evolved Vegeta dropped? That could be when. And I think the 50 million celebration was back when Jiren dropped. And that's why they dropped a doubles uh, or 1% or spark unit when an LF. They didn't do that for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I could be wrong. It could, it might not even be Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. I could be wrong. If I am, definitely let me know who the 60 million and 50 million celebration banners were. But if, you know, they're they're clearly celebrating this campaign, right? So it would make a lot of sense for them to drop a 1% spark unit alongside the LF, which is something they don't really do often, but, you know, every now and then they do. And, you know, Jiren dropped with Hakai Beerus last year. So it's very possible that we get that same thing uh, happening again. So, I would very, 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 uh, I would be very happy if they do that. Now, obviously, it says new characters here with plural, but it's obviously not the case. They do this all the time. Apparently, it's some sort of translation error with where, when they translate the um, the text from J Japanese to this. Uh, I think, like, I, if I'm not mistaken, like in Japanese, there's no plural, plural or something like that. And so when the translate when they translate to English, they add like an S or something. It's some something like that. I could be wrong on that, but it's it's something along those lines. So this is not the case. If there is more than one character, it's probably just a coincidence because I'm telling you, we've we've gotten this message where it says new characters with an S S, and they don't drop new uh, they don't drop multiple characters. We literally had this for last reveal and stuff, and the, the one uh, before that. So don't take this as a confirmation that we're gonna get a actual uh multiple characters now if you take a look at the universe rep team like i said this is what I'm, I'm mainly thinking is going to be the lf i really don't see it being anything else because they haven't really been buffing any other teams so universe rep does seem like the most likely option if you look at this roster like what other units can you expect to be an lf god topo is definitely one that's going to happen at some point um we, like we mentioned kefla is the strongest possibility Ribrienne is also uh, one of the strongest possible. I mean, it's crazy to say, but she's also a strong possibility. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to most likely go the female warriors route or girls route. And just because, you know, of the Zenkais and the, and, you know, maybe Valentine's week is has something to do with it. Um, but if I look at this list, like maybe Caulifla could be an LF or like Kale maybe. I would like to see a transforming Kale, like from base to like let we don't have a standalone full power or legendary Super Saiyan Kale, so or controlled berserk, whatever you want to call it. We don't have that. Uh, we don't have any transforming of these units. You know, Kaba could be a cool LF as well. Um, but in terms of like dispo, we don't have light speed dispo. You know, there's there's still a lot of possibilities and options that we can get from the tournament of power. I don't think it's gonna be like a Goku unit. I I highly doubt it. But it could, like I say, it could be also like a ta. Do they really want to go tag units? Like a tag Gohan and Piccolo could be really cool. Um, even, I don't think LF Golden Frieza would be uh, happening at this point. It, it really comes, like, if I were to bet on this, I, I would say it's either like a Kefla or Ribrian, and then maybe like a Caulifla or Kale. Like, I I genuinely don't see it being a Caulifla or a Kale. I really mainly see it to be a Kefla or even Ribrian. That's crazy. But um, yeah, that's probably going to be it. Like, I can't really think of any other options it could be. Um, something that's funny is also um, Goresh made a video recently um, talking about the hint, right? And on the thumbnail, he put Master Roshi. 
and you know Goresh in the past has been uh, pretty accurate with his uh, with his guesses or predictions especially this last one with ultra hit like he was literally the only person that said ultra hit was going to be coming and it ended up happening like that is some next level predictions almost scary at this point so keep a lookout on, on if he's going to make a video about legends limited the next legends limited unit because if he does and you see the thumbnail that's most likely going to be the next video so keep a lookout for that but yeah other than that i don't really think there's there could be any other options so we're just going to end it off here definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think it could be um because like i said kefla ribrian or any of those other units like that's who i'm thinking so definitely let me know in the comments below and uh yeah i'm pretty interested to know what you guys have to say so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because it's so important so don't forget i don't know, have a great day see ya